I'm not voting for Lansford, Franklin, or Carly's as NFL history's best barefoot kicker. I'm voting for Blair Walsh, assuming he would have been great if he did kick barefoot. Today on your favorite NFL channel, we're going to ask you, who is the best barefoot kicker ever, Mike Lansford of the Rams, Tony Franklin of the Eagles, or Rich Carlos of the Denver Broncos? Before we begin discussion, please remember to subscribe to our NFL Pick'em channel. Remember to like, share, and ring the notification bell for our future videos, and remember to take our interactive poll at the end of the video, and explain your choice in the comments. Let's start with Mike Lansford in our best barefoot NFL kicker comparison. He credits his success to finally correcting his kicking mechanics when he took off his cleats. He decided to kick shoeless after developing a blister on his heel because he wore a pair of old rain-soaked shoes. As a barefoot kicker, the ball often found its mark through the goalposts. Lansford had a career 72.8% field goal completion percentage for the Los Angeles Rams, as well as a 96.9% .9 career extra point percentage. He scored an impressive 789 points for the team throughout his nine-year career. Admittedly, I was surprised to learn that Lansford's field goal percentage was that low, but that's probably because he successfully kicked so many field goals during clutch moments. For example, Lansford kicked a shaky and wobbly 42-yard field goal that seemed to somehow find the inside of the Louisiana Superdome's right goal post, ushering the Rams into the 1983 playoffs. In 1989, he beat the Saints again in overtime with his dependable foot. In fact, Mike Lansford never missed a last-minute game-tying or winning field goal. He beat the 49ers, Bears, and a slew of other teams with last-moment heroics. He bared down when necessary. For instance, he kicked two fourth-quarter field goals in swirling wins against the Giants in a playoff game that the Rams eventually won in overtime. Lansford is remembered for his accuracy and clutch performances, but not for the strongest leg. That distinction and honor belonged to Tony Franklin. I can still remember his long 59-yard field goal in 1979, made in front of a hostile Dallas Cowboys fan base. Franklin spent five seasons with the Eagles from 1979 to 1983, scoring 412 points. His best season with the Eagles happened to be his first one in 1979, when he hit 23 of 31 field goals tantamount to 74.2% accuracy and 36 of 39 extra points, a 92.3 accuracy percentage, in earning all rookie team honors. Inexplicably, he did not get tabbed to appear in the Pro Bowl that year, but then again, Mike Lansford never got a Pro Bowl nod. Perhaps that was due to the brilliant play of kicker, Morton Anderson of the Saints. Tony Franklin's stardom started to build in college, as a young place kicker for Texas A&M. In 1976, he set an NCAA record with a 64-yard field goal in a game against Baylor, breaking it in the same game with a 65-yarder. Franklin first experimented kicking barefoot when he first tore ligaments in his left ankle and couldn't run well enough to play safety. He then decided to experiment with kicking. Unable to kick for distance or for accuracy, he took off the right cleat, and the rest is NFL history. Franklin wore number one, but does he deserve to be ranked number one as the best barefoot kicker in NFL history? Fans of Rich Carlos believe he deserves your vote. He began his barefoot venture at the University of Cincinnati when he transitioned from punter to place kicker, and needed more accuracy. Without shoes, he learned where to hit the ball on his foot. Carlos's skill helped the Broncos to two Super Bowl appearances. He is also remembered for tying the single-game record of seven field goals with the Minnesota Vikings. In fact, there is a mold of Rich Carlos's foot in the Hall of Fame. Career totals include the following. Rich Carlos appeared in 120 games, making 172 field goals out of 239 attempts, equating to an approximate 72% average. He made over 96% of his point after touchdown attempts. The legacy of all these great players lives on, but who deserves your vote for the most valuable foot? Please cast your vote. And please subscribe to the channel, and like and share this video, and ring the notification bell for our growing community, NFL Pick'em. Thanks.